something back in the wrong hole. This was filmed at 4.50 a.m. on the 9th of June. 4.50 a.m. This was a really, really fun part of my latest trip to the U.S. Going to San Francisco, hanging out with Mark Krauss, who's like the best power hammer mechanic there freaking is. His living is going all around the country in the U.S. fixing people's power hammers. Were it not for this guy, Mark Krauss, the country's artist blacksmiths would be in quite the pickle and their hammers would not be running. And it was exciting because during the process of filming this, you know, we, we, I, I show up and we, you know, we do a normal kind of 10 hour day, something like that, run some errands. Then, then the next day we really, you know, decide that we got to, you know, we're going to get into it. And so we start working and we work and, you know, we work and we work all the way through the night and into the morning. And it's like, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty long day. I've not really done days long like that too often, but then we kept working and we kept working and we did 41 hours straight. Well, that's a lot of work. It was interesting um, for me to see how my kind of body functions with a serious lack of sleep, seeing the peaks and troughs that one has as one is tired and as one is energetic. It seemed for me that I'd have about five or six hours where I was great normal energy, then about one hour where I'd kind of be doing that like drifting back and forth, almost falling asleep. And then in a space of about 10 minutes, I'd perk up and I'd go up to that peak again. It was a lot of fun, you know? And so after those 41 hours, we then slept 12 hours and then we woke up and we had a good strong coffee and then we did 37 hours straight. Then another 12 hours of rest and then another 40 hours. Unbelievable. A week went by and I slept like three or four times. That's crazy, but it was a lot of fun. And that's an experience that I, I'm gonna carry with me uh, for a very long time when I went to San Francisco, California to an abandoned brickyard and worked <laughs> 37 plus hour days, three days, uh, three slots running. That was a lot of fun. These hammers have a little line on them, the two, two lines right here, which are the, the do not pass this point. Uh, and I can see both of them. Uh, it's ideal to keep the ram at all times uh, <laughs> not exposing this. It, when you see this top line on the same Mac hammer, you've got about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch before the piston crashes into the guide ring. And that's a catastrophic failure. I've seen nasals with the piston completely broken off of the ram. Uh, all the bolts blown out, the flange blown off of the ring. Uh, it's, it, it's a catastrophic failure. So you guys might have noticed in some of my videos, when I go all the way wide, you can see a little bit of this. That's the mic. I always wanted to be a hairdresser. Much better. Anyway, the next thing you're gonna see is, since it's another beautiful day with bright blue skies, we're gonna head out onto the ocean again and uh, enjoy the lovely weather. So we'll see that shortly. I'll go throw in a little another cinematic sequence. You guys are gonna like that. Okay, bye.
I forgot to do something, so I'm gonna do that right now, even though it's the evening and I'm about to head up and start editing this video. Yesterday I was nominated uh, by a friend of mine, who used to be my English teacher, to can do this 22 press-ups a day for 22 days challenge in honor and in commemoration of the 22 US veterans that um, tragically commit suicide each day. And yeah, I, I think it's really sad that people go and fight in wars like this. Um, doesn't tend to do a great deal of good for anybody else and doesn't seem to do a great deal of good for themselves either. Anyway, let's do the press-ups. I haven't done press-ups in a while. You guys have a lovely day. Goodbye.